the truck, he'll leave. <laughs> I need him. Real. I need him for a few more minutes. Let me finish my intro here. Ladies and gentlemen. You gotta get back quickly. Please, please, don't be alarmed. I'm alarmed because we're doing a show and you're arguing about, oh, I don't realize that the pot dealer is here. Ladies and gentlemen, and I'm gonna please, ignore all please, my don't be alarmed. It's just the Eastside Dave show. It's yeah. what we do. And here's your host, Mr. Eastside Dave McDonald. Yeah, that's me. I'm your fucking host. I'm your host, bro. Ah, there he is. Usually we try some bullshit pantomime thing, you know, at the yeah. beginning, like it's an 80s sitcom. Not today. That was a real muted conversation where Roy's like, wait, the uh, the weed dealer's here? And I'm like, yeah, the weed dealer's outside. You didn't see him? Yeah, when am I going to make my deal? He's yelling at fucking Garrett and John. Oh, keep him there. I got, I'll got. i be out in two seconds. I'm like, no, you won't. Yeah. You have a fucking introduction to do. Priorities! Someone take his money so he can buy drugs. What the fuck? He's leaving. Uh... Hurry the fuck. <laughs> Buy your fucking drugs already then. It's all right, David. I'll wait till next week. So He's coming good. back. Yeah, I know. Really? He's here every Tuesday. He's here. He's like the milkman over there. I'll just get some of Garrett's. The it's candy okay. man in the house. <laughs> Who can make the sun shine on a long day? The candy man is such a wonderful person, isn't he? He is what really keeps the show together. He's the glue of the Eastside yeah. Dave show. I just wish he would show up because on time. we fucking hate each other in real life. I mean, Roy and I are pretty cool, yeah. but uh, I think there's a lot of animosity towards Flutzy and any, you know, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. All right, would you like to go to this talk show, Milo? Might as well, Do you want to buy your drugs? I can see you're distracted, I'm and not... I don't want this fucking shit hanging over my head or your head. I'm here, David. I'm all ears. All right. I'm all ears and all fingers. Just, just, he'll, he'll... What do you want, Roy? Just yeah, tell us what you want. Yeah, he'll give you the fucking money yeah. after the show. He's good for it. I, actually, maybe not. You know, cheap, cheap bastard over there. Just cheap gonna... Nazi fucking bastard. <laughs> okay, you know what? He's been sued four times. What do you think? He fucking... <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Okay, uh, Netflix revealed some weird information about their subscribers yesterday. Did you see this? No. One weird stat said that one of their viewers has watched Jerry Seinfeld's cartoon B-movie 357 fucking times this year. Whoa. Can you believe that? Yeah. Meanwhile, ujiz.com tweeted out that user... Eastside Dave 1977 has watched <laughs> Black Butts with White Cocks 3,017 times. Okay, thank you. I like that ass, Roy. That body ain't too booty delicious for me. I know you're a racist bastard, but it doesn't mean I am. Charles Manson's death certificate has been released. Apparently the cause of death was that his heart was two sizes too small. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a young doctor named Cindy Lou tried to fix this, but unfortunately he chopped her head off. Okay, so that's like the Grinch thing. She's related to Remember? Cindy Lou. Remember that? Oh, Christmas yeah. time? Yeah. yeah. Cindy Lou, yeah. Stevie Lou. Golf has decided to stop letting fans call in penalties on their players. Did you know that? No. Nope. That, that people watch golf tournaments and they say, oh, that guy, that guy was fucking around with his putt or bullshit. Like a tattletale. And they call it a tattletale. Well, finally, golf has decided to stop letting fans do that. In fact, fans can now only call in when they see Tiger Woods fucking a Perkins waitress on a stack of pancakes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Jerry from London is here, by the way. He sure is. Jerry from London. Good day, mate. Every Christmas... Jerry from London visits the Eastside Dave show. He books a flight, comes right over just for our show. Can you believe that? I can't actually, and David. in case you're wondering, <laughs> Bobo and his mom, Mrs. Axel Rose Bobo, are also here. So we're going to have some fun with them later. Russell Crowe apologized for making a joke at an Australian award show about sodomizing a female co-star. Ouch. Yeah. He yeah. says he actually meant to say that he simply wanted to throw a telephone in her face. Uh, that's, that's topical. This was uh, 2011. Topical. Speaking of angry actors, Alec Baldwin may be doing a sitcom for ABC. The name of the show will be called How I Met Your Mother and proceeded to call her and you little spoiled pigs. Remember that? That was, that was another reference from... 
I apparently in 2011. I got my things for the 2011 newspaper, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. A new survey on the popularity of Star Wars characters found that Jar Jar Binks is not the least popular character in the galaxy. It's Snoke. Oh, can you believe that? Yeah. In a related study, the least popular character on the East Side Dave show is Stockholm, the hostage puppet. <laughs> They hold me here against my will, but I don't mind. I got nothing better to do. Okay, that's enough Stockholm, okay? You know, he's, that's why he's the least favorite. Always complain about something. He's my favorite, Dave. <laughs> Neil Young's model trains. Are you aware that Neil Young is a model train collector? I actually am, as you know who else is? Who? Me. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. Totally serious. Well, you're, you're wearing a conductor's hat right now. Choo -choo. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Neil Young's model train sold for nearly $300,000 at an auction. I bought him. <sighs> Meanwhile, Eastside Dave's Jizz Rag collection has sold for three bucks. Okay, now hit my fucking music. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't. Screw with me tonight. You know why? Because Jerry from London is here, and he wants a nice, happy show. And Mrs. Bobo is here, and she will beat you in the head with her fucking cane. Okay? And Bobo is here, and he'll smother you with those beautiful Bobo hairy tits that may or may not lactate. Got to a very weird discussion with <laughs> Mrs. Bobo, of all people, where she told me that men could lactate. I said, bullshit! said, I'm a nurse, Dave. I know these things. Guess what? I wikipedia in it. She's right. <laughs> Men lactate. What the fuck kind of world are we living in where the goddamn thing is over here, the president is over there, we got nuclear holocaust, and men can shoot fucking milk jizz from their tits. Well, I've never seen future. anything like it. Everyone's off the rails except for one thing. It's not a radio show. No. No, sir. Not a television show. No, 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 no. Wait. It's the East Side Dave Show. Oh, 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 oh. Mom and Dad went to a show and dropped me off at Grandpa Joe's. I kicked and screamed, said, please don't go. Grandma, take me home. Grandma, take me home. Grandma, take me home. Grandma take me home, Grandma take me home, Grandma take me home, Grandma take me home, Grandma take me home. Had to eat my dinner there, mashed potatoes and stuff like that. I couldn't chew my meat too good. Grandma take me home, 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 Grandma take me home. Grandma, take me home. He said, he don't stop you crying. Go outside and ride your bike. That's what I did. I killed my dog. Grandma, take me home. 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 After dinner, I had ice cream. I fell asleep and watched. I woke up in my mother's arms. Grandma, take me home. 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 Wanna be alone? There you go. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome to the jungle, baby. You like that, huh? Say you like it, Bobo. I like it. Okay, Mrs. Bobo, do you like that too? Two dollars? <laughs> I loved it. She loves it! <laughs> and we know Jerry from London loves it. He sure. loves us. He, he is knows good he's music. he's class personified. People from London are just so classy with the I came in here, David. <laughs> I was here for your show. It's a good show with the songs and the robots and the pot. And the LSD. And it, well, I had a cousin once. <laughs> he died on the plane, Davey. And then he had to be put in a wheelbarrow. And it bring out your dad. Bring out your dad. And then he took a sword from a stone 
and he did a round table. <laughs> and he called it Excalibur. And then all these things happened and Lady Toy was driving it. Oh no! Oh gosh! Watch out for the barricade! Boom! She died! Anyway, we're happy that you're here, Jerry, from London. <laughs> we're happy to have you. Um, oh, uh, Roy? Yes, David? Um, right off the bat, I am uh, doing something that I am pretty sure. Uh, the year of 2018, I am now calling the year of the Dave. Okay, yeah, that's fucking true. The year of the Dave is coming. Because I have figured out my way to finally date a celebrity woman. Okay? I have been uh, following hot celebrity women on Instagram oh. and then giving them uh, little pointers and, 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 you know, just little life tips. I call this segment Eastside Dave, Guardian Angel for Hot Women on Instagram. Roy? Eastside Dave, Guardian Angel for Hot Women on Instagram. So that, <laughs> what go, that's the good. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to take a look at the uh, first photograph. I believe it's uh, uh, by uh, Olivia Munn. Are you familiar with her, Roy? I certainly am. Very attractive lady. I wouldn't mind dating her. She proclaims to be a Star Wars fan, by the way. Oh. And uh, yeah, that's her on the left in the red bathing suit. Uh, yeah. I think she's just with a friend in Hawaii. So then if you uh, go down, Johnny, and uh, I put on her uh, Instagram, please apply the proper sunblock. SPF 45 or higher, just look it out! He's sad day, <laughs> guardian angel for hot women on Instagram. So I'm pretty sure Olivia Munn's gonna call me. You know, I'm expecting a, a, a message on Instagram any second now. Like, you know what? Thanks. Yeah. I could have gotten my whole fucking ass burnt if it wasn't for you, Davy <laughs> Mac. See? There you go. I'm thinking. That's Here's the next photograph. Uh, her name is, uh, <laughs> I believe this next one is Kate Upton. Yes, she just got married to some uh, Detroit Tigers pitch. I guess he's on the Houston Astros now. Justin Verlander. Beautiful looking photograph, but that thing's not going to last. I mean, come on. Verlander's on the road. He's always pitching. He's always playing baseball. Yeah. It's just, she, she, she needs a homebody, like the Dave man, a homebody who lives in his parents' basement. Okay, and, and that's, you know, my specialty, <laughs> is uh, <laughs> grubbing things uh, off my parents saying, Mom, is my laundry done? Mom, when's my laundry going to be done? When's my black shirt and black pants going to be done? I got these like dang show to do, Mommy. So anyway, if you look at the uh, bottom of those comments, I wrote, uh, please invest in a better camera. This pic was black and white. Most modern phones allow for color photographs. Oh, oh Dave. He's sad, Dave. Guardian angel <laughs> for hot women on Instagram. Yeah, because, you know, it just seemed a little cheap. Uh, you know, what the fuck? Yeah. My, I, I mean, iPhone 6 Damn has right. colored photographs. I mean, Kate Upton, come on. You're a fucking supermodel. Invest in something better, okay? Up it's just game, a little piece Kate. of advice. Again, expecting Kate Upton to definitely say, Now, Dave, man, I want to suck your car! <laughs> this next photograph. John, who's the next one? Because now I, I don't... Okay, so this is uh, the comedian. Uh, what's her name again, John? Uh, Whitney Cummings? Yeah. Whitney Cummings? Yeah. So it says, swipe right for Santa, as you uh. can see there in the picture. And uh, as I wrote on her thing, I was just trying to give her a heads up. I swiped right for two hours. Nothing happened. Yeah. I'm on a loss here, okay? <laughs> because the thing about Instagram, the swiping doesn't uh, fucking matter at all. Nothing. It was a very misleading photograph that Whitney Cummings did. But I'm pretty sure after I give that piece of advice, she goes, suck my cock! Hey, right. sad Dave, guardian angel for hot women on Instagram. This next picture is uh, <laughs> Halle Berry. She could see she has a beautiful little puppy there, and she's all hot and shit, and she's like, oh, I'm going to fuck the shit out of this dog. Anyway, uh, as you can see on my comment, I just want to remind her, I hope your dog is up to date on his shots. You can never be too careful. <laughs> Pretty sure she's now going to suck my cock. Hey, sad Dave, guardian angel for hot women. On Instagram. And this last picture <laughs> is uh, someone, uh, oh, Gwen Stefani. Everyone loves her. She's very hot. Look at that. I mean, she's just, a, what a beautiful woman. A superhero. Just, yeah, she really does look like Wonder Woman or some shit like that. A Russian and, Wonder uh, Woman. Yeah, I just simply uh, wrote to her, you know, please remember to wash off your makeup before bedtime. Failure to do so can result in skin irritation. Pretty sure that's going to get her to <laughs> suck my cock. He's a Dave, guardian angel for hot women. On Instagram! That's actually funny.
Okay, what? <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Just, the, the word actually didn't need to be put there. <laughs> <laughs> the, the show is that you know that's actually good for a change. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's a surprise. It's actually so funny, funny, David. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually put thought into these things, Dave Ben? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she she misses one week and it's like the whole show is a brand. She's like a baby, <laughs> like a baby that's just experiencing the world for the first time. Flutie takes off a fucking week. She's like, what kind of show am I on, puppy? <laughs> what is this? That's actually true. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you forget what we do here from that I forget one. a lot of things Don't, from day to day. You are definitely coming next week for our Christmas special, yes? But of course! How could I not? It's gonna be the biggest, baddest Christmas special of all time. I'm gonna dress up too like an elf. You're gonna dress up like an elf? Yeah, fucking why I not. love this! I wanna put on some green. You do, I'll give you 50 points. Whoa. I'm gonna say that right wow. now. I'd even lean towards giving you five points just for... You know what? Give yourself five points, okay? Finally. Five I'm points. on the up and up. Five points. Five up points. Up. You know, you're gloating <laughs> with the clapping. <laughs> Why minus 15 do? points. I'm okay. sorry. I minus can't. 15. I can't right, wait. Jerry? I can't she wait. She was gloating with, yes, I finally get points. <laughs> so now you owe me 10 points. Um, <laughs> so, Mrs. Bobo, you're here, and uh, this is fantastic. We finally get to meet in person. You are even lovelier in real life than your uh, you. GoFundMe page. You know that? I mean, it's, it's beautiful. You're a beautiful person. Um, I don't want to. How do I say this without, you know, titties? Titties. <laughs> really nice. I mean, is that, is that, that's not going to offend you. They're real and they're spectacular. They're real and they're spectacular. <laughs> she is a good person. I mean, uh, your son Bobo, he provides... Your son Bobo has taken over Compound Media. Are you aware of that? Well, we'll get, make sure you, she has the I goddamn never see fucking him at microphone. Home. What? I never see him at home. Yeah, he's never there. Great. He's there. How is he as a son? Does he behave? Does he ever give you shit? Mom, I gotta be with my Compound Media friends. No, he just leaves. He just leaves? He leaves. Yeah. Likes to find dinner at home. Ever catch him jerking off? Because my mom has no. four times in the last no. month. Your poor mother, no. I have a problem, though. That's, you know. <laughs> but it's not a Louis C.K. problem. Because I, instead of, you know, comedians and writers, I just jerk off in front of my mom. So I don't think my mom's going to put me on a Louis C.K. list. Not yet. Hopefully not yet. Boy, that would be a shame, huh? Um, so he's good? He's a good boy? Yes, yes, he is. Okay. Especially when he sleeps. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I was surprised to learn that males could lactate. Uh, how the hell did you know that? And I'm a nurse. You're a RN. nurse, are yes, you? Yes, I work in middle, me, used to work in medical research also. And you were also telling me before the show that you're a dancer. Used to. Used to be a dancer. Uh, strip club? Wiggles. No, I'm like kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What kind? No. Uh, ballet? Uh, Modern? Ba yes, lyrical. Ballet, jazz? Tab, jazz. Hip hop? Yes. Break? Um, some hip hop. Break dance? Mm. Very you ever brutal. fucking, you know, get the cardboard mm. out on uh, Fifth mm. Avenue and start no, twirling on no, your head and no, shit? No, no, no. Yeah. You ever dance with black people? Yes, I have. Look at you. You're racially oh, wow. cool. That's, that's yeah. impressive. <laughs> Good for you. One day we're going to have a special Dancing with the Stars episode on the East Side Dave show. Great. I like the sound of that. My partner is Mrs. Bobo. Oh, we'll win easily. No, oh, yeah, we would win. some dance moves. Roy, your partner is going to be Jerry from London, okay? <laughs> so, you hear that, Jerry? I guess we have to do it next December, because he literally only comes once a year. I'll be ready, Jerry. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually like a very dad. good... He only comes once a year. hey -o! Wow, that's anyway. sad. I'm actually a good dancer, David. I might, I might uh, surprise you. Bullshit. I'm serious. Do, do a little... Well, I guess you can't play piano. John, can, does anyone... Garrett, give him some fuck... <laughs> can we give him some techno music or something for him to dance to? Because I got to see this. Because I don't believe you're a good dancer whatsoever. Give me some music. I, he's working on it. <laughs> you and the, the goddamn demands dance. over here. You were about to have a fucking freak out. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. This sucks. It's the music, David. Pay attention to my moves. <laughs> this is nothing. Yeah, he cut the music off, thankfully. Oh, that's oh. our jam. Here we go. All right, do something. <laughs> Not so bad. All right, I'm getting uncomfortable, but also slightly turned on. The, there is a gyration there that's kind of making me groovy. And I'm starting to get sexy. Oh yeah, now he's oh, showing me. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Shaking. That's enough of this shit. All right, well, there you go. You've been, that was terrible. You've been proven wrong again. Nay or nay? 
was Roy uh, was Roy's uh, dancing good? <laughs> By a round of applause, uh, was it good? <laughs> I'm shocked. Why boy can dance? What boy oh. can dance? <laughs> All right, Mrs. Bobo. <laughs> Mrs. Bobo, you're not going to be offended if I hit on you after you know a couple pulls from the Jamesons, right? Oh, you're if... not going to hit me with that. <laughs> different. Be honest. You ever get titty fucked before? No. Because oh my those God. breasts. Is this offensive? Was that would that offend you by what I just? What did I have nice? No, you had the microphone. On the microphone, otherwise it doesn't count. I think they're nice too. Because I've been watching a lot of, don't be offended, titty fuck porn. (laughs) And you in person, you feel like you would qualify for that. Oh, I didn't know they had that. You have a very nice sort of body, isn't it? Is it the case? 34, 35 years old? I know you're not supposed to ask a woman her age, but I mean. He's in his late 20s, so I don't think I could be 30. What did I have in my two? All right. <laughs> yeah, good point. Well, I don't know how 40s. it works in your family. In you know, 40s, there's all kind of weirdness yeah. going on in the Bobo household, let's be honest. I'm in my 40s, and I don't care. I look great. Mid 40s. It's the no 20. <laughs> it's how you take care of yourself. That's my age range. I wouldn't mind. Dave Man's 40. Dave Me, Dave no. you. Roy? Are you attracted to red haired people? <laughs> And get on that microphone. Get on that microphone for Christ's sake. His father was a ginger. (laughs) His father was a ginger. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Bobo, I didn't know this. I've mentioned it before. He has mentioned it, David. I've mentioned it before that I am the son of a ginger. (laughs) Microphone, not the mic stand. Microphone, not the (laughs) goddamn (laughs) I've mentioned it. Where the microphone used to be. Let's get one (laughs) thing straight, Bobo family. Now you're on short leash. (laughs) When you speak, it must be into these microphone machines. Otherwise, no one can understand what the hell you're saying. You're still speaking without the mic. Here's what we do. Footsie, hand her the Big A microphone since uh, Big A. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. No, no. We'll give you two. You guys are going to be stars tonight. I'm not going to you once or twice. I'm going to you multiple times. Um, Mrs. Bobo. Yes. Tell me if this is offensive, you know. Me, you, a couple drinks. Romance. Roma. We tie up your son to a chair and make him watch us. Offensive? That your son is watching us have sex. Oh, he has to that, watch us? That wouldn't us? offend you, though, right? Oh, definitely would offend him. It would offend you. I'm not him. Nothing offends him. What, what if we put a blindfold on him? He could only hear us. <laughs> Take it. Take it. That is the face <laughs> and the voice that I make God, during you sound intercourse. Like you're dying. <laughs> Take my dick. You like it? Huh, lady? Huh? Yeah, queens never look so good. You a Mets fan? Are you a yes. Mets fan like yes. your son? Yeah. Yeah. Father was a Yankee fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he was, was he? Yes. I got a lot in common with the dad. Is it bringing up, sparking some memories? I'm redhead. Uh, I like the no, Yankees. No, not at all. You don't look nothing alike him. I like a little more handsome, perhaps? Be honest. Definitely. Definitely. Last week, we had a big-time controversy. Uh, Roy somehow thinks he's better looking than me. Who's better looking? You be the decider. Me or Roy? That's so... Well, no. You have to choose. You have to choose one. Otherwise, I pull it, put a bullet in Bubbo's brain. I love you, Roy. <laughs> but, Roy. But... Big Roy. Oh, you fucking bitch! <laughs> you traitor! After all the romance I just gave you... Tell you I'd fuck your tits. And I'd fuck your tits till they were bleeding and squeeze the blood into your eyeballs. All of that. You're gonna be offended by that though, right? Like. I'm a woman, I can change my mind. Okay. <laughs> There's a daughter too. How come she never comes around the East Side Dave show? She's smart. Is that <laughs> smart? He has the highest IQ in the family. She does? She going to college or? Yeah, she's in college. She's in college. Mm-hmm. NYU? Um, that's one of her goals. Right now, no. But she's in a community college? No, she she graduated from community college. She did her two years, graduated Oh, so she's looking at other schools. Yes. Okay. She took a little break, yes. She, I tell you, you have a good looking fam. Well, two thirds of your family is good looking. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Bubba, you're not gonna be like offended by 
No, I wouldn't be offended. You're not gonna be offended. Right? I'm, I'm not offended, okay. Dave. Nothing offensive. Not offended. Not offensive. Not offended. <laughs> Mrs. Bobo, what if I tickle your feet? You know, just give you a little. No, I'm too ticklish. Can I, can I come over there right sure. now? You shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm armed. <laughs> slide over. Slide over. Because we look like a new couple. Would you be offended if I put my arm around you? Like, not in a creepy way, but like in a perverted way. <laughs> not in a creepy, perverted. Well, you know what I'm saying. What's perverted. Well, I won't do anything except put my arm around you, but then I will save the memory for later and jerk off furiously to it. Because you're, you, are, you are an attractive woman. Oh, thank you. That's fine, you can put your arms around me. Bobo, look at this. Get Bobo, Bobo, get close to me. Get close to me. Look, our wedding picture. I want you to call me New Daddy from now on. Okay, New Daddy. Bad Daddy, bad Daddy. Bobo, look at this shit. Okay, New Daddy. Uh, oh my God, I just got a kiss. New Daddy is fucking moving in and she gave me a kiss. Is it okay if I give you a kiss on the cheek? I, this is not a Louis K scenario. Everyone's free to say no That's under true. any of these circumstances. I agree. We don't work together either. <laughs> you smell it smell good, like vanilla chocolate. Oh, it's coconut. <laughs> I rub it coconut. all over my body. It's coconut. I have no scent of smell. Did I tell you that? I'm also colorblind. And I jerk off four times a day. That explains it. <laughs> I see you're leaning back. And his mother has caught him jerking off many times. <laughs> Microphone. Say that again. His mother has caught him jerking off many times. Hold on, let me fix this mic. Okay. See, I told you it didn't work. Hello. <laughs> Me and Bobo's mom making love on the bleachers on compound media. Everyone's watching during Christmas time when me and Bobo's mom fuck each other's tits. She rubs the clit on my ass. <laughs> okay, this is disgusting. <laughs> Really, the worst lyrics I've ever heard. <laughs> Those are the worst lyrics I've ever heard. I'm offended by that. Okay. Talk about a good sport, huh? That's just the warm up. Because oh, okay. I feel like later on, I feel like there's a connection between us. Okay? <laughs> you know that we have exactly three shows of Mike Francesa left? Three! <gasps> it's the most depressing thing I've ever heard. Do you listen? Do you do uh, Sports. listen to Francesa? Yeah, Sports, WF yeah. fan. Um, well, Here's Mike Francesa talking about his snowblower. A snowblower? <laughs> snowblower. I got this good, you should see how good I do my snowblower, okay? Uh, and, uh, uh, you can't hey Mike, even imagine. Hey Mike, you know, why the, you know why uh, the snowman dropped his pants? Why is that? So the snowblower coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's a good one. Cheap That's bastard. Funny. I go for uh, the easy ones. Johnny, do you have this? I wouldn't. Do, Ten dollars an hour, you're going to shop. I, I won't ask for the money. I don't want the money. Oh, okay. Don't want the money. I'll take the ticket. I don't want the money. <laughs> but I'm bringing my snowblower. Well, that <laughs> because I'm, I can do rows in really fast because I'm good with my snowblower. Because I use my snowblower all the time. I love my snowblower. Uh, hell. I'm not big into manual labor. So. I love the snowblower. I love to do my driveway with the snowblower. It's one of my favorite things to get a lot of snow and do the snowblower. He doesn't I have a lot of great, hobbies. Great snowblower. Not a lot of interest. I don't know what the make is. I don't know what the make is, but it's a great machine. It really is. It's uh, it's powerful. It, it shoot that stuff a mile. <laughs> what is he talking you know, about? I, it sounds I, like I his I neighbors try, hate I, it. I, I try to remember <laughs> they, last time what the make is. I got it wrong. But uh, it, it it's it's a great snowblower. What it's snowblower? A great machine. Get the cameras out there. I'm telling you, they were going to do, do that. that. They they said they just said they were going <laughs> to do it. The last time uh, that we were still doing it uh, last year, we were going to do that. Because I'm telling you, I'm out there. As soon as we get enough snow, I'm out there, and I do the whole driveway. It's I now becoming like OCD-ish. His driveway is literally one of my like neighbors? seven feet long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, really? Totally. See where he lives? Oh, man. Oh, man. It was like 85. He just passed away. Uh, what? I used to do his driveway for him. And to do a dead guy's driveway. He's gone now. So they have someone else there now. But no one's living there right now, but they just sold the house. Yeah, because he died. I used to do his driveway. Where's this? Story going. Uh, Killed him so he could uh, the thing things. about the snowblower was uh, <laughs> even when people wouldn't ask for me to do their driveways, I would be outside, okay? And I'd be like, don't worry about it, Phil, okay? I'm gonna do your snowblower, 
okay, on your driveway, okay? And, and, but the, here's the thing, I would be what they call trespassing. <laughs> I would be invading their own property with my snowblower. Finally, the old 85-year-old neighbor Phil couldn't take it anymore. He hung himself on the porch. <laughs> He wrote a note that said, I killed myself because Mike Francesa kept trespassing with the snowblower. Okay? You should also see me with a weed whacker. Okay? In the summertime, sometimes it doesn't snow. So how do I get my snowblower shit out? I do the weed whacker. Okay? You should see the weeds. There's four weeds, there's five weeds. Big Mike Francesa comes, no weeds. The other thing is the lawnmower. I've been known to go to the local high school football field and mow their lawn, okay? Someone then came out and said, Mike, you're not Forrest Gump, okay? This is, again, private property, okay? Also, I like to spy on the teenage girls changing in the locker room, okay? One of my favorite things to do is to set up secret cameras, okay? And put surveillance all over my nice town in Long Island. And film teenage girls shitting on the toilet, okay? Then I take those tapes, okay? I email him the mad dog. I go, I got a brand new reunion idea. Mike and the mad dogs, high school feces special. Okay? And then they tell me there's this new movie called Star Wars. Okay? The Last Jedi. Okay? I'm like, what's a Wookiee? Okay? Big, hairy, is it a dog? Is it an ape? Okay? My philosophy is, it's a date. <laughs> That's the cross between a dog and an ape. A date. Did they ever tell us what Yoda was, okay? No one ever says, hey, Yoda is this kind of creature. We all know Chewbacca's a Wookiee, okay? Wait a second, okay? Wait a second, okay? But what kind of creature is Yoda? Okay, wait a second. Okay, and Yoda, okay, episode five is not like Yoda, episode six. Okay, Yoda episode six, he's in a deathbed blanket. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, Yoda episode five, use the force. X-Wing levitates them out of the water. Okay, and they, okay, Yoda episode five better than Yoda episode three. The Jedi find the episode, Yoda episode three better than episode two, better than episode one. Yoda episode eight, he's a force ghost. At least that's the rumor, okay? The Death Star, okay? How'd they build it, okay? I know I can build a snowblower if I had to, but a giant plant that shoots lasers? No, okay, okay, okay no, okay? I'm Mike Francesa, go fuck yourself, America. <laughs> Francesa, right, right, love it. I forgot, G-Baby, the heralded film critic, is going to be calling in. Oh, yeah, he is going to be calling in tonight, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he's going to be Skyping in there at 8 p.m. sharp. He is lucky enough to have gotten uh, an invitation to the premiere of L The Last Jedi on Saturday with the Hollywood Big Shots, with the whole cast, and there's G-Baby, front and center, just fucking destroying the shit. Hobnobbin. And then he uh, wrote uh, this amazing article on his website, io9. And uh, he said, no spoilers. And then in the second paragraph, in my opinion, there were at least four spoilers. <laughs> and, you know, gee, maybe there's all kinds of spoilers. But not real spoilers. But, like, I don't even... I, I am almost on a social media blackout at this point. I don't need it. I'm going on Thursday. I have a uh, 7 o'clock viewing Thursday night for The Last Jedi. I'm going back on Friday at 4 p.m. and I've recently bought tickets at the uh, Mammoth Mall in Edentown, New Jersey for Sunday. That's three fucking viewings by next Monday. Who's the fucking last Jedi now, baby? Eastside Day, motherfucker! Yeah. Kai! <laughs>
Now, Flutzy's here, and she tells oh. me she actually has a song prepared. <laughs> Some sort of flute song. She's gonna come up right now. Flutzy, Flutzy, hey, cabrone, hey, I'm a dead day. A cojones, flutzy, flutzy, a culla, a puta, a cona. Okay. I said something a lot worse than Corona. I actually, uh, Mrs. Bobo is fluent in five languages. Five languages? And uh, five languages. And I said, uh, please write down um, seven curse words uh, in Spanish. You so, did? Oh yes. And she was more than happy. She's like, is this for that flute, bitch? You got it, Dave, man. She's cheating, David. And uh, they mean pussy. I know all cunt, of these except. Uh, fuck. Poder? Anyway. All right. Um, Come on. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Into the mic, into the mic. Oh, God. <laughs> I never called you that. He That's made me like write those words. What? I made me 100 the truth. bucks to do it. All right. She's actually telling the truth there. She didn't say any of that shit. Um, okay, now you have a song. I do. Okay, so the crazy Puerto Rican woman is going to play the flute. Okay, and you just call up. You guess the song. Uh, either a movie or whatever the hell it's from. Because <laughs> at this point. Is this even from a movie? Because I'm looking at the title. It doesn't seem like I mean, it's it was a, a movie. cartoon and then they made yeah, it's it. It's got movie. nothing to do with movies. Yeah, it does. I've done this game for two straight years. It's a song from a movie. Apparently, this is a cartoon right. TV show. It's not a, a movie. It's not a movie! They made a movie. I'm actually. God Almighty. Actually, it is a movie, Dave. They made a movie, but the, what she's gonna play it is not from the fucking movie. We're quibbling here. Okay, well, let's. It's from a show. Let's let the I audience love to quibble. Oh, Jesus. I love, fuck. Do I we love get to quibble. guess? You can guess after the callers. Okay, Mrs. Callers. Bobo? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Let's go. Present, but uh, Roy, please, uh, when she's doing the song, don't <laughs> knock over your fucking microphone, causing her to laugh. <laughs> Come on, you, that made you laugh? It made her laugh. I was like, drop no. <laughs> the mic right. more often. All right, we already have a caller on the line, and his name is Steve, and he wants to play the game. This isn't Stevie Lou, is it? No, no. Okay. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm very defensive. No, 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 no. Don't hang up on me. <laughs> We like Stevie. It's his birthday right, so today. Have a happy birthday, oh, Stevie. Is it his birthday? Happy birthday, Stevie. Happy, birthday. happy birthday, Stevie Lou. Happy birthday, Stevie Lou. Happy birthday, you. Happy birthday, you, Stevie Lou. Da, 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 da. Oh. Um, okay, do you have a guess? Because while she played it well, it's really not from a movie, though they did make a movie on after this song. Yeah, yeah, it's um, always a technicality with this woman. I swear to fuck. Can I loop hear it one more time, Go, yeah. please? Okay. And let's do an abridged version. Mm. That version yeah, was like a Jethro right, Tull song. Uh, <laughs> it was like 12 minutes long. I mean, let's, you know, let's get to the nuts and bolts of All it. All right, well, you okay. should probably get it by... Okay, go for it. I'm like really fucking it up. I'm okay, sorry. please. I'm like, you should kind of know what's like me that. playing it. I know it. <laughs> she says she has the audacity to say, I'm really fucking it up. I am. You not should on know purpose. it anyway. But you I'm should saying, be psychic. Like, that's the abridged. You should read my mind, Poppy. That is called the abridged version. All right. There you go. Okay, but that's not the game. Don't give them piano hints. Steve? Is it Shaft? Shaft. Is it Shaft? Shaft? We said it was a cartoon. Get him off the fucking phone, Garrett! Get him the fuck off the phone, man! Get him off the phone! Oh, God. Aren't you supposed to?
supposed to call in if you know the song, not play it again? Whoa! Oh, oh, Bobo's mom knows. shutting fucking shade Steve down. The shade. Uh, let's go to uh, Ed from Florida. Edward. Mr. Champion, sir. How are you, Ed? Oh, I'm great. Flutesy, nice ass. Thank you, Ed. I like that. Appreciate That's the it. new hello for the Blue Blue Side Dave nice Show. Flutesy, nice ass. It's like <laughs> greetings. <laughs> greetings, Earthlings. Flutesy, nice ass. Yeah, right. All right. She does have a lovely one. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the best. She's amazing. As a matter of <laughs> fact, Dave, I, I hope for your next Star Wars Spectacular, you go right to Return of the <laughs> Jedi so we can see her in the bikini. bikini outfit. Oh. Did you I gotta want to play that. the game, Ed? Or is this a oh, creepy I, I like fucking, this. I like this. you know, hit on flutesy <laughs> perversion keep, call? Keep, keep, sorry, keep it going. Sorry, Mr. Champion. Is okay. Alvin and <laughs> the Chipmunks? accepted. Yes. What is it? Alvin and the Chipmunks, is sir. Alvin and the Chipmunks? Yeah! We're a winner, Edward! We're a winner, Edward! And, uh, you, I'm... Usually our winners get to change their Twitter profile, the Eastside Dave Show champion. Something tells me you don't have the internet. You only have a shotgun down in Florida. <laughs> and, uh, you're, well, I definitely don't have Twitter. Yeah, I, I didn't think you had a Twitter. Well, that's okay. Garrett, do we have any green shirts left? I think Ed's getting a shirt already. Ed's getting, yeah, oh, Ed's getting a shirt. Okay, well, Ed, I'm you're, you're still a champion in everyone's Thank hearts. You. And uh, Ed, everyone, he's a champion. Ed's a champion. Love your love he's a love fucking your champion. Blue he's a champion. And he knows how to compliment a woman. He does. Does Ed have a Twitter account? Do I need to unfollow Sharon? Ixia, where oh. were you about uh, eight seconds ago when I asked Ed that exact same question? Oh, is he, is he no longer on the line? I'm talking to you about me. I actually asked him already. Ed, uh, you That's probably don't have a Twitter profile. I might have been playing, so I, if I, I have a hard time hearing <laughs> if I'm playing. It's like a delay, you know? It's very odd, David. I wish you could spend some time in my mind. What <laughs> I have to put up with sometimes. It's a wonderful place. Roy was talking nonstop. To poor Jerry from London, London. who I believe was Kendrick. smiling politely, but in his mind he was like, when the hell is Roy going to shut up? Is this fucking chap going to shut his <laughs> And Roy is just chip, 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 chapping away. Chap. Yeah. But then the showtime happens and Roy's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, you were talking to him about everything in England. Yeah. Just because he's fucking British doesn't know, meaning like he knows like who Paul, you know, he's friends with fucking the Beatles and shit. I wish. Where are you, are you? with Brexit? <laughs> it's Brexit, Brexit, isn't it? It's Brexit, isn't it? I do love that, it. though. I love that, isn't it? That's what I was waiting for. That's a good uh, little phrase. I want to incorporate that. Americans don't say that. Isn't it? Like, uh, Bobo's mom, you know, I got a nice cock, isn't it? Like, something like that, right? I'm not going to be offended by that, isn't it? Incorrect. Isn't it not going to be offended, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> okay, she's not offended. Incorrect she's not offended usage. She's not offended by that one. You know, I feel like I could have actually gotten uh, further with Bobo's mom when I was sitting on the bleachers. Like, a possible makeout session. <laughs> um, it felt like Couldn't that. handle it. Oh, she said puta. See? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't handle it. I don't want to be the creepy guy. So I'm not going to demand or anything like that. But if, if it strikes your fancy, you just come up here. Sit right next to the David. I'm going to uh, say that this means that we're going to have a small makeout session. And Bobo, I want you to come up and look at us while we do it. Oh, you want to make up with Bobo? Sure, Bobo. No, ahead. I'm gonna, I'm talking to Bobo's mom at this point because I would. She's fine. She's kind of fine. <laughs> Let's see, you're like uh, old day. You know, you're like yesterday's deuce. You look like a fucking giant garbage bag at this point. I mean, let's be honest. New Bloods walked in. Her, his, her name is Bobo's mom, and she is hot to trot. And she has done what you have never done. Que she atrevido. has kissed the Dave man. Usted es eh, atrevido. Esa es una muchacha bien linda. Ah, y sí. Fina ah. Y inteligente. English on this fucking show. No, English, English, you fucking. We don't speak English. Don't, don't do this. <laughs> We got a compound media audience to consider. I we don't speak it. English. Right, see everyone. Get the hell out of here. Old I newspaper. That's what I call you. you. Hey, look. It's no big deal. You're as antiquated as an old calendar. All right, let's go. <laughs> she, guys, she gets so upset. No. Flutzy, I mean. Oh, she gets, oh. She gets so upset. Not Bobo's mom. <laughs> Bobo's mom. She's ready to play, baby. I'm loving it. Bobo, you're a good kid, too. I can see where you get the, uh, you know, just uh, 
I don't see anything uh, similar to you and your mom whatsoever. In fact, the more I think about it, she adopted. You know, let's be honest. <laughs> she, she had a good soul many I'm years not, ago. I'm not, that's not gonna. No, I'm not offended. Not offended. Like when I say she's good looking, but you, not not offended. Not at that, all. Not offended. Not offended. Not offended. Not offended. Right? Christmas time, right? Yeah. If I take a Christmas ornament, get nice and thin. Ram it up your dick hole. I would be in. Screaming. While me and your mom make gingerbread cookies. Christmas. Not offended. I would be screaming in pain, but not offended. Not offended. He's not going to be offended by that. You guys have a dog, right? Two. You have two. Kill both fucking dogs. I choke them to death. Then I put rope on them, hang them on the Christmas tree. <laughs> and say, all I want for Christmas is two dead dogs. Not offended. I would be very angry, but not offended. Not offended. <laughs> but not offended. I'm not going to offend you. You'd be angry. But not because offended. Your, because your dogs would be dead. Yeah, I would be angry. Really dead. <laughs> yeah, I would be very angry. I would probably I shaved run out off of the, the fur of your dogs. I put them on some of those bald patches on your head. A little mustache. And I'm like, hey, everyone, it's new Hitler. Not offended by that. Because, like, I'm using I would your dodging now with you forever. I would probably be I'd angry. to your head. I would probably feel kind of depressed, but not offended. But not offended. But not offended. Right? Not offended. Not offended. I'm going to be offended by that. No, I wouldn't be offended. Okay. Whew, he's not offended. <laughs> he is so good. He offended him. It's amazing. I don't know how. You certainly tried, David. Uh, Roy, we have a, a, a fantastic sponsor. I can't even believe it. Hey, it isn't so, David. I won't. <laughs> uh, it's Deep Discount Clip of the Day. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new uh, thing here with our sponsor. Everyone loves Deep Discount. And now it's Deep Discount's Clip of the Day. I don't even know how this works. Oh, here we go. Do, Mr. Hayat. Okay, children, let's start the day with a few new math problems. What is five times two? Ten. Come on, children, don't be shy. Just give it your best shot. Yes, Clyde? Twelve. Okay, now let's try to get an answer from someone who's not a complete retard. Anyone? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. I think I know the answer, Mr. Garrison. <laughs> Shut up, fat boy. Hey, don't call me fat, you fucking Jew. Eric, did you just <laughs> oh, say the God. F word? Jew? No, he's talking about fuck. You can't say fuck in school, you fucking fat ass. Kyle! Why the fuck not? Eric! Dude, you just said fuck again. Stanley! Who? Kenny! What's the big deal? It doesn't hurt anybody. Fuck, 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 fuck. How would you oh like to Lord. go see the school counselor? How would you like to suck my balls? <laughs> <laughs> what oh, did so you fun. say? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Actually, what I said was... <laughs> How would you like to suck my balls? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. So that's the... Clip of the day. That's from Deep Discount. It's so a brand new feature. Okay. Deep Discount is providing us with these clips of the day, Roy. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now so many episodes, so many complete seasons of South Park are available for a great price at deepdiscount.com. And there's still time to order all your favorite titles. Old and new in time for the holidays. Tens of thousands of items all, all on sale during Deep Discount's last minute gift sale. Movies, TV shows, CDs, LPs, so much more. See for yourself. We put our sponsor and find a ton of gift ideas right there at your fingertips. Just click the Deep Discount logo on our website and be sure to look for special coupon codes and icons for extra savings. You'll find new releases too out this week. Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Gotta love these Kingsman movies, baby. This time the UK spies join forces with the US to defeat a common enemy. Get your copy now for a great price on DVD and Blu-ray. There's even a limited edition LP available. Check it out now. Thank you, Deep Discount. Deep Discount, everyone. So that's new. That's like a deep discount thing. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. Sorry about that. I wasn't aware of this new format, but uh, I think we pulled through rather. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right. that, I'm still getting paid, though, right? You fucked up. Minus 8,000 points. You're in the hole now. Because when Garrett and I had these meetings before the show, yep. you're off fucking canoodling with the candy man about some weird THC-inspired dream that you had where all of a sudden you have chicken feet. 
getting real feet. Yeah. I heard that conversation. Uh, disturbing. Easy Dre, you were in it too, David. Oh, the Beatles, Roy. You like them? Never heard of them. <laughs> Just trying to get us to the next song, Roy. That's all I'm trying to do. Just trying to get us to the... Yeah, there you go. Um, well, we are... Boy, this is our second to last show of the year. Can you believe that? Almost there, David. Season two of the Eastside Dave Show nearly wrap it up. Ending next week, the Christmas special off on December 26th, as is all of Compound Media, back on January 2nd, all right? So uh, we're happy you're here with us, and uh, it's the Eastside Dave Show. How about a round of applause? Me, specifically. Little, little, a muted round of applause for Roy. Like, yeah, just a little bit, yeah. Snapping for Flutie. And then huge raucous ovation for Mrs. Bubba. Yeah, 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 All my little plans and schemes Lost like some forgotten dreams Seems that all I really will do waiting for you just like little girls and boys playing with their little toys seems like all they really would do is waiting for love no need to be alone no need to be Exactly where my life will go Seems that all I really would do Was waiting for love Don't need to be afraid No need to be afraid It's real love It's real Yes, it's real love it's real. Roy Hart and the Heart Attack Kitties. Come on, take it away, baby. Oh, yeah. That's how I like it during Christmas time, baby. I like it hard. I like it deep. I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Thought I'd be, thought I'd be in love before. But in my heart, I wanted more. Seems like all I really would do Was waiting for you Don't need to be alone Don't need to be alone It's real love It's real Yes, it's real love It's real Yes, it's real love it's real, yes, it's real love. 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 It's real, yeah! That's how you do it, Rob! That's how you do it, man! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Thank you very much, Eastside Dave Show. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. What was that at the end there, Flutie? Hello. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, is G Baby on the line? Or uh, you said one second. Okay. How are you tonight, Roy? How are you? Oh, it was you? good. Yeah. I used up all my comments. What are you talking to Jerry yeah. about? You was actually, we him. Turns out we have a mutual friend in England. Out of all, out of all the people in England, we have what a. What the fuck is this, Joe? So Bubble, hand the mic back to Jerry so he can get on the thing there. This Jerry, one, yeah. you have a mutual yeah. friend, or is Roy? Because he sometimes thinks he's talented, Mr. Ripley, and he just, you know, he's like a chameleon and a liar, 
Really? <laughs> Come, man. Come, man. Come man. Yeah. 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 Thief. True. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Impersonator. Uh, serial killer, perhaps. Um, On tour. <laughs> you have an actual friend. His friend used to go on. Um, to, he had a second career going on. You know those I Love the 80s and I Love the 90s yes. shows used to get in the early 2000s? I do know those shows very well, VH1 shows. That's exactly right. And they, they came from the UK because they, all the formats came from the UK. I originally. didn't know that. Yeah. We just steal everything from England, don't we? Sure do. And all these years later, we're just <laughs> stealing the whole God. The red, even the red, white, and blue. That's right. Those are fucking England's colors, for Christ's sake. We got their sakes. tea. We got yeah. their, uh, their, <laughs> their flag. We tea, got their the cigars. Austin we got Tea their, Party. We threw their, their goddamn tea in the fucking ocean. <laughs> their suits. Such a read your hits. Jerry, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> and um, John, John. John Robb. John Robb used oh, John to come Rob. into a bar that I used to have years and years ago, um, occasionally, because he lived there. Um, but... I knew I didn't know him from his music career. He had a huge music career, like in the punk bands and stuff like that. I used to play with his punk band. Yeah. So you guys know the same punk rock guy? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. The Membranes uh, and Goldblade is the name of the band. Look at that. See, I'm famous in England. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is Roy actually famous? I know. I'll say this about Roy. <laughs> he. <laughs> I, the, uh, there's cameras here. We all can see you <laughs> goading him on. <laughs> hey, Jerry, you got to pump me up, Jerry. <laughs> hey, pump me up. Override me. <laughs> see when the Irish band were in for St. Patrick's Day a couple of years ago. Oh, the uh, uh, pie tasters. Oh, yeah. The pie tasters. The pie yeah, yeah, tasters. Yeah, yeah. That, they're quite well known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so pie tasters like, are well known in yeah, England? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys are great, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking Steve yeah. Jackson. He's one of the best. And all of them. Alan. Great band. Obi, yeah. The whole Kibbit and Caboodle. Love them all. Great band. Shout out to the pie tasters, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Um... They uh, actually watched Eastside Dave show on the no, tour they bus. Do. Yeah. Can you believe that shit? Played a gig with them in Brooklyn, actually. Did you really? As, a, as the Eastside Dave uh, keyboard. So. <laughs> okay. Did you disgrace me? I sure because, did, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 you I, tend I, to slap my name on projects <laughs> that go nowhere. Uh, the uh, the Roy Harder presents Stingers <laughs> and Songs from the Eastside Dave show. That's the best. A totally <laughs> illegal oh, fucking yeah. album. <laughs> That he used my image for and He's the goddamn important. name and stole the put the stingers on an album to be bought on iTunes. Which how many copies have been uh, uh, bought so far? What two? You grew up to like six hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen units? jack and shit from that. You might, and this is where it gets real. You told me I get fifty percent. That's right. I haven't seen a fucking nickel. Truthfully, David, I think so far we've sold. And this is the truth. I think 36 copies. When am I going to get my taste? As soon as I replenish the, uh, sub the cost of to make the album. You, why wouldn't you have included me in this project? I had to lay out $700,000 of my own money. <laughs> <laughs> so it's until, all a lie. Until Jerry, I get that back. Jerry, he doesn't know John, your friend in the membranes. He's lying to you. This is what my point is. It's true. I don't know John. He, he doesn't know John. He, knows he him barely better than knows me. you, Jerry. No, he knows him better than me. This, this John used to go on all these '80s shows, and he'd be qu he'd be interviewed about, um, you know, Night Rider or something. Night Rider. And John. David Hasselhoff. He would go like this. And John then he was in a talking car, <laughs> and the car was like, "Make a right, David Hasselhoff. <laughs> Turn right, and if you think about it, the car kit from Night Rider was like serious." Or Siri, I mean. Like GPS before GPS was around. <laughs> now, English people are not as behind on shit as Irish people, right? Because I can tell you in, like, the year 2000, I was working at this hotel called the Warren Hotel in Spring Lake, New Jersey. And these great Irish people came over, and we all went to the beach. And I swear to God, the two Irish dudes... They were wearing like little tiny fucking swim trunks from like 1981. And honestly, we all laughed at them in America. We were like, where'd you get those fucking shorts, bro? But if an English person seems like they're up to date with the styles and shit. Is that the case? And I'm Irish, you can, you can be honest. No, is that the case? I, I'm Irish too. Ireland's come more, it's up to date now. It is. But it was so far behind, as you probably know, for many years. My um, my father was like 73, 74, and his, great, his grandfather was a, a lamplighter. Of literally oh used to go, so imagine in the 1940s, That's cool. they used to light them with a gas lamp lighter. Jesus you know, Christ. And that's in the 1940s. What the fuck? What happened? 
didn't have jack shit over there. Electricity and, happened then, there yeah. and then President Bono took over. Yeah. And the whole island <laughs> was so much That's better. Right. <laughs> God bless Bono. <laughs> that guy put fucking Ireland on the map. Let's Ooh, be honest. Bless Bono. Everyone still thinks the fucking Ireland is a bunch of backwards little hobbit idiots. Yeah. With big fucking pipes and red noses and bare feet and shit. Gandalf is there shooting fireworks, or maybe that is Lord of the Rings. I'm getting carried away with my uh, Hobbit analogy. Um, okay, so that's cool. Well, you know what, Jerry? Are you going to be back here next December? Assuming the Eastside Dave show is still alive, because I have a feeling like we all may be dead next year. Well, we, that could happen to all. We could all be hit by a bus tomorrow, innit? You know what? You're goddamn right. <laughs> right well, eight points. End it. Eight points for Jerry. End it. From, End it true. End it true. Minus five for trying to sound English in front of Jerry because I he's authentic and you're English. not. We've he's authentic this. Englishman. I know. And you're not. Okay? You are, what, Spanish or Cuban or some bullshit, like where Narcos is filmed? Like lots of drugs and yayo goes <laughs> yeah. on and people are undercover? From the Bronx. Um, well, that's awesome. Uh, G Baby's here. Okay, play him some Star Wars music, Roy Hart and Dax. <laughs> I'm waiting for the Star Wars part to kick in. So is G Baby. You're embarrassing me in front of my friend. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo! Jermaine Lassier, the world's most renowned G Baby film critic. Film journalist, how would you describe yourself? Oh, wait, I so can't hear him. Exactly. Oh, there he is. Uh, GBA, I'm sorry. What, 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 what did you say? Because I didn't hear you. I said entertainment journalist kind of covers everything, so that's what I go with. Entertainment journalist, the world's most renowned entertainment journalist. I only follow G Baby. I don't go to no one else. What about your Instagram, bitch? That's well, except for the Instagram ladies that I hit on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like them. I have a whole lot. Okay. That, oh, trust me, I'm going to be hitting on all kinds of ladies tonight <laughs> at around 10 p.m. If you're in the world of Instagram, just go to Hot Chicks uh, Pictures and look for some Eastside Dave comments. Now, Jermaine, we're excited for exactly one thing: the yeah. last Jedi, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> I know you're not going to do spoilers, because if no. you do, Garrett has it hooked up that he's going to electrocute you through Skype. Okay? So just be very careful here. Yeah. You uh, should be ducking. Okay? Right. Now, thoughts and opinions, I'm just going to let you take it away. And you're like Mickey and I'm like Rocky. I'm just, I booked you here just to pump me up, basically. All right. That's all. Okay. So, yeah. So I saw the movie Saturday night, and uh, it's awesome, dude. It's so good. It's awesome. Like, from the first moment, you're like, it just feels so different. I mean, it, obviously, there's a crawl and everything. But after that, it's just, every, Ryan Johnson, every time you think the story's going one way, it goes the other way. Wow. And, and you just keep feeling like, there's no way he does that. And then he does that. And then the movie goes to a different place. And and it's 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 a really simple story, but it, it just keeps, like, building layers and layers and oh, layers on top of it. I love this. All the characters uh, that you love from their first movie are back and have lots more to do. I mean, Kylo and Rey are awesome. I mean, Kylo, especially in this movie, uh, it's almost Kylo's movie. I right? had a feeling like it was going to be. I did. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously Rey's the main character. Luke Skywalker plays a huge role, of course. Uh, Poe has more to do. But for me, walking out of it, I was like, Kylo Ren is my man. Like, okay. So badass. And, and it, the story arc is incredible. All right. Uh, that's really great. I mean, a lot of this stuff, I mean, we've seen the trailers and stuff. You've seen basically bits and pieces of everything. Yeah. But we have no idea how it all connects, right? And how it connects is all surprising. But there's also about, I'm going to say about eight moments in the movie where you will jump out of your seat with, like, freaking out crazy oh, applause. This is what I like, wanted. I'm getting pumped right now. Awesome. I like, feel like force choking Roy. I'm getting so excited. <laughs> I'm having a problem yeah. breathing right now, careful, David. Be careful. <laughs> it's working. Oh, you you, you got to do the fake, like, ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck out of you, you piece of shit. All right. Um, now, no spoilers, Jermaine, but no. Ray is Luke Skywalker's daughter, yes? <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about anybody <laughs> who's anything. That's the best part about me seeing it early uh, is that. I went in so cold, and I read everything. It's my job to report all this stuff, and I knew like of like let's 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 say there's like like I said eight big surprises or like whatever surprises. I think I knew one, and it's probably like if I had to rank them, the third biggest, like the two biggest I didn't know. Wow. Uh, 
and it, like blew me away. And the second the movie ends, you're like, there's so much going on. You feel like you just like, you know, you feel like after like Thanksgiving, you're just like, oh, I can't. Yes. I feel like that, but with Star Wars. Now, like, have you gone back to see it yet? Because I actually have three. I've bought tickets for Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, it's pretty seeing intense. It again. Seeing it Thursday again. And then after that, uh, we'll see. Uh, when I have time, I'm not really sure. Yeah. It's a couple of weeks before the holidays. But I suppose, yeah, you do have other movies to watch. Well, other movies, and I got to do the year review and look forward to next year. It's a lot of stuff I got to do. But, John, but I, I mean, look forward lot, like, to next week. Yeah. Jermaine, I look forward to your email. Please include me on that email list. Every I single year I read it. I, it's only on Facebook. Oh, Jermaine. Jeez. No, the email is so hard. I, it's for people who I used to, for like 15 years, send an email out every New Year's Day with like my top 10 of the year. Yeah. And but I would get so many bounce backs, and it was so hard to put together that I finally was just like, "Fuck it, I'm putting it on Facebook." Yeah, well, that that is smart. Did we, we did, did anyone reply to you besides me? Because I was the only asshole who would fucking start arguing with G Baby via email. <laughs> Whoa, G Baby, hold on, that was ranked way too high. Okay, I could see it at you know squeaking in at ten or nine. Would you put that movie for and like G Baby would have this with like 200 people and I always think to myself the other people on the list must have been like Dave is such an asshole. I don't even know who you are. Your name wasn't probably. Or, and well, no, the, a lot of them were friends of ours. Okay, all right. Yeah, that we we had a lot of common interests and shit. Okay. But they must have been like, you know, he's putting this nice email together. <laughs> who the fuck am I? You goddamn Gene Siskel? What was a critic, Dave? Yeah. What was a critic? Um. I, I'm yeah. so looking forward to that. So uh, don't spoil anything. Luke Skywalker die at the end. We'll see. I'll okay. tell you, Han Solo is still dead. All I'll right. tell you that. All right. He doesn't, uh, I'm trying to get yeah. some some out of you, but you're you're doing a good job so far. I'm trying to trick you. That. I actually thought I was like, is there a spoiler that's small enough that would be cool, or that would be acceptable but cool, big enough to be cool? And I came up with one. If you want it. Yes. Lando Calrissian. And, and like, I can handle it. There is a very subtle prequels reference. I love it. I love G Baby so much. There's a subtle prequels reference. I heard that. that I think I know what it is, but I'm not gonna say. You don't trust me. That's the great thing about the movie. I don't. Anything you think is gonna happen, like, not the opposite happens. Like another world happens. It's crazy. Like you, Dave. You're gonna sit there and be like, "This is. There's no way that just happened." Wait, I'm getting another Star happen? Wars no, tattoo. No, like, yeah. It keeps going and going, I, and it's crazy. Gee, I'm serious. I'm getting another Star Wars tattoo pronto. Without even, I'm ready to. Okay, how about this? And I, I want you to be honest. And I want you to think about it. Is this the best Star Wars movie of all time? I've only seen it once. How many times have we seen the other ones? You know, seen them dozens times. and dozens of times, hundreds yeah. for the all originals. Yeah. I, it's hard for me to say. I will say that I walked out of this one with uh, feeling much better and more excited than Force Awakens and Rogue One. Really? I, yeah, I think th this is just, you'll see, it's just a more complex movie, and it's just so different. Force Awakens is A New Hope, which makes it work, but at the same time, it's familiar. Right. And Rogue One is just, you know, it's fitting a story into a place where we've seen it, new characters. Yeah. But that, it, there's nothing more you can do. This is like, this is the first one you really feel like, oh, my God, they're really going for it and taking us to new places. Okay, now uh, Disney gave Ryan Johnson, the right director of this, obviously, a brand new trilogy is uh, so you think this bodes well for Ryan Johnson? You think he's gonna oh, do well with that? Yeah, I mean, he just like I wrote this in my review today. I'm gonna crib my own stuff, and it's basically like, you know, we've seen you know seven or eight Star Wars movies, right? Live action, and they all kind of feel the same. This is the first one where he was like, hey, if we can have like talking slugs and laser swords, why can't I do something effing crazy? And they're like, okay, yeah, why not? Like, we can do anything in this world. We have a power called the force that can do anything. Yeah. So why don't we use it for ways besides lifting things? That's right. Chalk you know, it up like, to the force. Yeah. And so like you can do anything. So that's <laughs> what this movie does. This movie will, it changes your concept of like Star Wars. It's awesome. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Roy, you, you probably don't even know what we're talking about. No, I'm you? actually intrigued by this force. <laughs> <laughs> I like the force. I like That's the, intriguing you. I like the sound of this. May the force be with you. Yeah, this is a, like my kind of movie. That was done in the original, 1970s. It's a 40-year-old slogan, for Christ's sakes. No, but I, I'd like to see what they're going to do with it, you know? We're in the Side Dave Show Star Wars <laughs> Spectacular. 
You know about these people. We didn't use the force in its intended way. Yes, we did. Did we really? That's not how the force works. I would have that's not how the force. That's that's not how the force works. Made skirts blow up and all kinds of nonsense. I guess that's my. Force. Thinking of Marilyn Monroe in the subway. Yeah, that's. What the fuck are you talking about? Skirts blowing up. It's insulting. <laughs> By the way, G baby, and this is kind of creepy on my part, but I'm noticing your posters, and I have the same ones. Only mine's aren't framed yet. So. Uh, They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah. Now, if, if you have like a little, like a, if you have like a jizz rag underneath those posters, then our apartments <laughs> oh are exactly God. the same. Look at those beautiful <laughs> posters. Unbelievable. Well, uh, G Baby, I always tell people there's one person you have to go to online for entertainment journalism. His name is Jermaine Lassier. He writes for io9 and various other uh, websites and publications. He's the master. He is the Star Wars master. Master, he's the one we Star Wars after. <laughs> All right, Jermaine. All right, Dave, you uh, you text me after you see the movie Thursday. I want to hear what you think. Okay, I will. Jermaine, G baby, Jermaine Lassier. Follow him on Twitter, Instagram, and all. Of it. Jermaine, I'm loving your pictures too. By the way, they're all awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good all one. Right, G baby. Woo! He's good people, right? Great guy. Great. Goes back a long ways. Oh well, yeah, well, we used to have him on the sports show. Did we really? Yeah, he used to be our, our call-in uh, hockey guy, wasn't he? No. No? No. <laughs> sure about that? No, no. You're as confused as Flutesy tonight. No, I'm telling you, we used to have him call no, in. No, we didn't. That was Fast Freddy. Oh, Fast Freddy. God fast damn you, Freddy. you son of a bitch. Oh, I got them all mixed up. Yes, you do. All jumbled That's up. nothing to brag about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, Dave, you're right. I'm sort of stupid. It's another guy. <laughs> no more candy man for you. Yeah, no more candy man for me is right. <laughs> now, Miss Bobo, time's running out. And I really thought at some point you were going to sit next to me and <laughs> we would cuddle at least a little. No? The microphone, sweetheart. Microphone, microphone. What does sit next to you mean? <laughs> it means just sit next to me. Oh, that's it? That I can handle. Come on up. Come on up. Bobo, you stand behind us, too. Like we're a new family. It'll be like our Sears portrait. <laughs> it's really fun. Oh, Jesus! She's gonna attack her son for bringing her to the Eastside Dave show. Go ahead, sit down. And uh, this song is uh, going out to you. Oh, cool. Okay? I never had a song before. This is dedicated to you. Because, uh, go ahead, slide over. And I'm not doing this We're in not a couple. Don't go breaking my heart, right? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is for you, Miss Bobo. This is for all the people. All the people, all the motherfuckers in New York City, in New Jersey, in California, like Jermaine Lassier, in England, with our friend Jerry from London, in Ireland, in Dublin, in Madrid, in Australia. All you motherfuckers. This song goes out to you, and especially you, Mrs. Bobo. And uh, Mr. Bobo, call me New Daddy from now on. Stand on a corner, suitcase in my hand, Jack the corset, chains in a vest, and me, I'm on the rock and roll band. Right now, that's bad, catch him. Yeah, those different times. All the poets studied rules of verse. And those ladies roll their eyes. Sweet Jane, yeah. Sweet Jane, whoa, whoa. Sweet Jane, hey. Sweet Jane, yeah. Jackie's a banker. And Jane, she is a clerk. Both of them save their monies. Yeah, when they get home from work. Does play classical music, gym, macho wooden soldiers. All these protest kids say, Hey, hey, sweet Jane, yeah, sweet Jane, yeah, sweet Jane, sweet Jane, run on and take it away, baby. Roy Hart and the Heart Attack Kitty! Alright! 
People go out dancing. Other people have to work. And even some evil mothers tell you everything is just dirt. You know, women never really faint. And that villains always blink their eyes. Children are the only ones who blush. So my point is this, <laughs> you and me could be a couple. It's feasible because here's the thing, Mrs. Bobo. Currently I'm living in my parents' basement. Oh, turn on already. <laughs> I, uh, I masturbate a lot. These are some of the things you're gonna have to know about me. <laughs> I'm also gonna be going into your underwear drawer. Sniffing, touching the underwear. What a shame, I don't wear underwear. Whoa! Plot twist! I love that you said that in front of your friend, uh, your son, who Plot is so, twist. so much trying to get out of this uh, scene. No, you sit there and you fucking listen to this. You listen to your mother! Because I'm new daddy, All right. and you respect your mom. See, I will be, I will, I, oh, I'll, I'll be a disciplinary every goddamn time. I'm gonna take your side. Unified front. All right. Now here's the thing. I'm gonna have to move in, and I have a PlayStation, and I got a Nintendo Switch. Okay. So right there, I think I'm a pretty good deal. I'm also gonna have to move in my 200 Star Wars action figures. Okay. My 14 WWE superstar action figures. Okay. My eight jizz rags and my two <laughs> blow-up dolls. Okay. I'm not gonna offend you if I have a blow-up doll or anything. I mean, you and I are still gonna have fun. It's just I, Dude, the, the semen the builds dolls? up a lot in me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Lots of semen. Must be the red hair. It is. <laughs> what if, uh, me, you, and then nine months later, little David Bobo <laughs> pops out of your pussy? Is that gonna offend you? Is that offensive when I say shit like that? Be honest. Um, childbirth is not offensive. No. Okay. no. <laughs> Stop laughing over there. I'll shoot you guys. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm Italian. I'll whack you. You're Italian? Half. Are you? Mm -hmm. What's the other half? Latin. Latin? So you have a fiery temper like our flutzy. But then there's some Irish blood. Then there's, there's Irish blood. Yes, yes. And then there's flutzy, you, you, can't, you can't tell flutzy anything. If you're like Footsie, you were checking your phone a lot. She's like, fuck you, Poppy! I do what I want when I want! I'm like, Jesus Christ. It's like talking to Fidel oh, Castro. Cool. Over there. I like you. I like you too. Well, you're both Latina. You know, you've got like bodegas and bodegas. Uh, fucking uh, chicharrones <laughs> in common. Corner. Right. That's right. Do you know what chicharrones is? Pork rinds. Oh, okay. Right? Yes. That's um, see, I know a little Spanish here. Mi <laughs> mucho gusto la biblioteca. I really like the library. Mentira. It means I'm studious. <laughs> Como el culo en dos segundos. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, your ass in two seconds? <laughs> what does that mean? Speak a little Spanish, David. Oh, your ass. Yeah, you're, 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 you're swooping in on I my lady. I, I think it means where's the nearest bank, David? <laughs> of course it would for you. <laughs> Goddamn money grubbing whore. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> you are a horrible person. I am trying to wax poetic to her. You're right, David. I you apologize. You fucked it all up. Here's Roy. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what that means, Davy. Give me money and no Judas. Kick it to sock and balls in Roisins. <laughs> because your dad's German, right? That's right, David. And he, you used to play soccer? He did. Did you ever hear the story? Yes, I know he's German. His, he's German his dad, when he would play soccer, would yell and scream at him while he was playing as like a little eight-year-old. He'd go, <laughs> Kick it to Sockin's balls, Roisies! Throw 
food at you into the ovens. <laughs> Exactly like that. Spies and the door risings. Now we talk nothing about football risings. We talk about extermination <laughs> of the soulless Jew. We feed the Jew to the gargoyle of the German war machines and risings. That's what your dad used to say. Just right? like that. Yeah, your dad was very mean. Back memories, huh? Mean. So what happened? I mean, would you mind me asking what happened between you and the in the your husband, your former husband? Oh, his father passed away from his his, his dad's his his, his, his hold on. I got it. Cancer. He's, he's 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 he passed away due yes, to cancer. Yes, yes. Is this insensitive the other if I say that I don't have cancer? That's good. Yeah. Liar. Oh yeah, Garrett's right. I had I had a Liar. little skin cancer. You guys had the skin cancer. I remember that. How did that go? Multiple times, actually. I had several operations, and now I no longer have skin cancer. So in your fucking face! Yeah, you cancer. You beat it! <laughs> Fuck you, cancer! Jesus! Oh, fucking warn me before that shit's gonna happen. Mommy and daddy are talking, bro. <laughs> And when mommy and daddy are talking about shit, room. it's not, you know, <laughs> this isn't is, is, is no holds barred. This isn't some, some fucking cage match with The Undertaker, you understand? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I apologize, sweetheart. I to. You know, when <coughs> we're gonna fucking whip this guy into shape, I'm gonna have him doing a hundred goddamn push ups by Saturday. Can you do a okay? hundred push ups? I can do a hundred push ups. Well, Oh, damn, put up or shut up. I can do two. Two push ups. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can beat you. Yeah? No, no push problem. up contest? No problem, babe. Is that possible? Can we actually do that on no, camera? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to put you on the spot. Oh. How about arm wrestling, though? We could do that on camera. Oh, sure. Let's go. With my bad arm. That fucking arm wrestling contest. Look, it just got reconstructed. Sure, let's go for it. That's don't make yeah. excuses. Give me a goddamn arm wrestling contest. Do it. Do, 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 it. do, do, do it. it. Do it. Do it. One, two, on. three. Wait, wait, wait. Just got it. Okay. She's actually kind of strong. Jesus Christ, this woman's like a gorilla. She's a tiger. Oh, my God. I wasn't. I was not giving that to her. I didn't think you were, David. Shit. So you're foxy and strong at the same time. Me You're and you are going to be a couple. David. And we're going to shock the world. When we go over to Anthony's house, and I'm like, Anthony, meet my new wife and my new fucking son. <laughs> <laughs> we should get married. That would be the greatest thing of all time. Son. Now, my first marriage... <laughs> Can I be your best man, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> my first marriage took place at the Hard Rock Cafe. Can I carry the ring? Me and you, I'm thinking more White Castle. Would you mind that? The hamburgers are good. Yeah, they are. You can buy a lot more hamburgers at the White Castle than the Hard Rock. I don't even think I'm allowed to go into Hard Rock. I'll get arrested. <laughs> right? By the way, Seth Rogen Seth is boycotting Sirius XM because Ooh. of something about Steve Bannon and shit. I, you know, I don't care at all about politics and certainly don't care about Steve Bannon, but I applaud Seth Rogen and his Sirius XM boycott until the leadership goes. Not the shows. I love all the shows. Until the leadership is fired. Boycott Sirius XM. Fucking shitty, some shitty goddamn leadership, right? Hashtag the boycott Sirius XM. You want to sing the song with me? What song? Mm -hmm. The end of the uh, show song? I don't know. Okay, well, and Bo, you could sit in the middle of us. Don't worry, me and Dave know it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think your mom's worried about anything, Bo. Except for maybe having you as a son. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Ain't got the blues, ain't got time for bad news. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. From Long Island to West LA. No need to worry, cause I ain't in no hurry. Damn, it's been a real fine day. There's a whole lot of trouble out in this world. Yeah, a whole lot of worry, whole lot of worry. Now that I had you, 
come into my life There's a whole lot of reason to say Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Are you finished? <laughs> Friday. If I said damn. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Got my new shoes, ain't no way we're gonna lose. Yeah. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day. Jerry! Uh, no. From London! Uh, no. Inside Danger!